what's happening? You and your ass invited, so go on and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, Welcome to Step by Step. I'm your host, Taisha Tucker. We have an exciting show for you all today, especially if you're a fan of dance or music, because we have a dance instructor here with us today. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Aradi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? First, I want to just thank you for coming, because I know it was, they don't know, but it was short minute, last minute us getting you here, so I want to thank you for that, okay? No problem. So. First and foremost, since I don't know much about you, I just met you today. I just want to ask, when did you first become interested in dance? Um, I was probably was around seven years old. Um, I saw uh, my mother dance at church, and ever since then, it's kind of been hooked to it. Okay, so what, who, what kind of artists influenced you at an early age? Um, at an early age, I was really influenced by like Destiny's Child, like the little little movements they used to do, um, yes. things like that. Probably that's it. That's all I used to listen to when I was a child, really. So you used to mimic their dance moves? And Absolutely. Okay, so Beyonce must be like a big person for you to look up to. Definitely big so. Big role model for you. Definitely okay. so. So is that dancing something you want to do career-wise, or is it just something you're doing for it's fun? It's definitely a career opportunity for me. Okay, and so you're doing it for fun, and you want to make money. Doing Absolutely. It. Okay, so how do you plan on um, using what you know from dance um, to make a career out of it? Um, well, right now I actually have my own dance company, so mm -hmm. uh, we just started, we launched last year. So just getting, taking that and just getting earnings and stuff from that and then teaching different um, master classes, getting out there, getting your name out there and stuff like that. Okay, so would you say those are some of the steps that you're taking to become a better dancer? And if so, like, what are some other things that you can do to get wherever you want to be with the dancing? Well, in the music or entertainment industry, in total, you have to network, so it's all about who you know, really. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you get the people who you know, it's all about your actual talent then. Mm -hmm. um, so really getting yourself into like dance classes, getting your name out there, branding yourself before you brand something else. Mm -hmm. um, so them are that's a couple of the steps that I'm doing to better myself in my career. Okay, so you mentioned networking. That I want to say that that means you're heavy on social media. Absolutely. As as Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. I don't really tweet as much, but definitely heavy on Snapchat and Instagram. Why, why not? You don't like Twitter? No. <laughs> don't, don't you think it'll be a good platform or it would help you out with posting videos? You know, because Twitter is a good way to get your videos to mm -hmm. reach whoever just by retweets or anything. Absolutely. I mean, that is a way. I just have to, I guess, sit down and focus myself on Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. I got a little lazy with it um, in high school, but it's something that I would look into picking back up. Okay, so you post videos on Instagram yes. other than uh, Twitter. And do you do YouTube too? Yes, I post any like concept videos or visuals that I do or any visuals that I'm in on um, YouTube. So do you like create dance moves or dance routines and post them on YouTube or how do, what do you post? Um, shows, do you have shows or something that you So help? on YouTube it's just really like the choreography visuals. Um, right now I think the one that I have up there is something that I did for uh, a contemporary for my best friend. He was going away to the army. So I really just use that platform to have my concepts and my visuals out there. Um, mm -hmm. Anything as far as like little dance videos, that's what I post on like Instagram and Snapchat. It's really like my day to day life. Mm -hmm. um, and I just um, bring dance into that as well. Okay, so have you got any attention from any big celebrities from any of your dance videos? Or? We've gotten attention from like dance magazines. Um, I Last year I was in Elle magazine, it was featured in there um, for a formation video that we had done. Um, and then other things like artists, as far as like Eric Bellinger, have done stuff. Um, he's noted stuff like that, and I think that's about it. Are there any dancers that you want to like dance with or help um, come up, help them come up with um, dance routines? Well, not dancers, but artists. Are there any artists like yeah. Chris Brown? I know he's a he's a dancer that you may want to dance with. Uh -huh. or, um, uh, oh, that's so good. Usher, Usher's cool. Usher's yeah. cool. Chris Brown, of course, is really dope. Um, I actually really, really want to dance with Janet Jackson um, mm -hmm. before she really retires. Um, and then things like uh, J-Lo, she's good. Um, 
And yeah, Chris Brown, like I said before. Okay, so do you uh, try to mimic some of the dance styles um, of J-Lo or Janet Jackson or any of them and try to incorporate them into your own style? Absolutely. Um, that is something that um, I do on a day-to-day -day basis um, as far as like just growing and really getting yourself and it's not really mimicking it's really just taking the information and just absorbing it and then just figuring out how, how you're gonna make it your own okay so who's do you feel is easy to kind of use some of it uh, easy probably Beyonce cuz she'd like really just two steps okay. um, and it makes it her own um, yeah so are you going to be dancing to Beyonce today, or who, who are we going to be dancing to today? Today we're actually just going to be dancing to Kent Jones, okay. um, just because I like that beat. The beat was really good, um, and I like the song. Okay, so um, let's get it started, okay? So we're going to have uh, El Roddy. That's, this is Mr. El Roddy. We're going to have him dancing along with Vanessa today. So you all may know Vanessa. Vanessa, uh, she did the makeup show, Makeup by Ness, um, for one of our TV production classes um, a few weeks ago. And she came today with her makeup slate as well. I want to thank her too, just because I know I'm talking a lot. But I want to thank her too, just because um, you all don't know what we had to go through to get Mr. El Roddy up here with us today. We had to go through a, a lot to get Mr. El Roddy up here with, uh, with us today because we didn't have anybody. The person that was supposed to come up to the floor, they flaked on us, so we had to call Vanessa and she put everything for, um, together for us within a couple days. So I wanna thank her for that. So without further ado, I think we'll go ahead and let him, Mr. El Roddy, um, demonstrate a dance routine or dance moves with Miss Vanessa from um, the Prince George's Community College Television Production Program. Hey everyone, okay, like I said, I'm Mr. El Roddy and this is Miss Vanessa. Hello. We're gonna do a nice chill hip hop piece for you. Uh, we're gonna make sure we go step by step just so that you have the step by step and go for it. It's really easy. Um, but the most important thing in this is to really have fun with it. That's what hip hop is about. It's about your swag, finding your swag, finding your inner Debo, diva, gangsta, whatever you wanna be. Um, and then really just taking it from there. All right, so we're ready. First step, we're gonna start, we're gonna be looking over here to the right. You're just gonna step down and groove that all the way down. So again, really, like I said, just getting that groove into it, so make sure we're not stiff. Just stepping down, and then you're gonna hit front, hip down, head up, and then flip, okay? So taking it back from the top, we have down, two, three, four, and hit, flip. One more time, and then we'll move on. Five, six, seven, eight, down, two, three, four, and hit, and flip. Cute. From there, from that flick, we're going to just groove here. So make sure when you're grooving there, you're not just being stiff. You're taking it, it's more like a body wave. So take it from your hand, your head, shoulders, knees, and toes, okay? From there, here, you wanna hop back on your right foot, hop, and then do the same thing on your left, hop, and stick here. So from the top, seven and eight, down, two, three, four, and hit, flip, groove, step back, hit, hit, and. Yeah, so let's try that much with the music from the top. Let's see what we got. You can have fun with Get the group up. out in the beginning. Walk a bit of bit of shit, too many bitches on the wall. Seven, eight. Hey, baby, you there. Ice skin thick with the blue hair. Red, right. Missy, I just got a new pair. Every so just like that, you're making sure you're grooving. And you know, it's really high energy, but it's still like that groove with it, okay? So we'll do it again from the top, and then we'll move on. Six, seven, eight. Push down. Two. Three, four, and hit, flip, hit, step back, hit, hit, flip, finish it here, come up, stick down, then you're going to do that same groove thing you hit here, but just to the back, hit your chest, and rebound back, boom, 
Yes. Again. So we just did back, back, stick, down, groove. From there, you're going to take two steps to the left with your left foot. Just one, two. Again, really finding that groove. So I don't want you to think, do exactly like I am. Just find your groove and go to it. So you got to hit, hit. Then you're going to come around and jump down. From the top again, and then go through it. Five, six, seven, eight. Push. Two, three, four, and hit. Flip, pull, through, jump back, back. Step, and back. Walk, walk, groove, and hit. Finishing that movement, just go right, left, right. Okay? Let's get it with the music. Once you're finding your groove there, we're just going to continue it down. So you just hit, step down, cuff up, contract in. From there, you're going to do these hard hit chest movements, and I think it's like four of them. So you hit, contract, one, two, three. On that last fourth one, break out. Really breathy. So hit, 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 hop, 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 three. Okay? From the top, and then let's add that on. Five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and hit. Flick, groove, step back, hit, hit, right, and breathe, step, left, right, groove, down, jump, hit, 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 all right, collapse, and ba, ba, ba. All right, hope you guys are enjoying this, having fun. Having a great cool. time. Let's see this with the music. break a sweat. <laughs> Me too, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's finish the movement out, finish the dance out, and then we'll do it a couple times. So we just hit here, boom, hit, flip, 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 boom. From there, you're just going to kind of catch, step around, step around, hit, hit. Then you come here, and you really just freestyle it out, okay? So find your inner diva, diva, swag, gangster, Yes, robot, fierce. nerd, whatever you want. Okay? It's really it's from the top. <laughs> from the top. And let's do it again, then we'll do it with the music a couple of times. Five, six, Get seven. Tell you hey, you're home, girl. Just Get from up. the beginning, Get please. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's give it out. Get Remember, up. You don't have Get up. Get up. Walk a bit of better, say too many bitches on the wall. On the wall. Remember at the end of it, make sure you're really grooving and grooving and you're having fun. And that's really all it is. So we're just gonna freestyle it out. Ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hey, can we have some music? Hey, hey, hey. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So gonna get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pay, pop, pop a for me. Turn around and drop it for a pay, drop, drop it for me. I'll rent a beach house in Miami. Wake up with no jammies. Lobster 
tell for dinner. Julio served that scampi. You got it if you want it. Got it if you want it. Said you got it if you want it. Take my wallet.